For the better part of two months this fall, Pittsburgh has been North America's city of light, hosting the Pittsburgh 250 Festival of Light, the largest lighting exhibition of its kind on this side of the Atlantic. Projected works of art have covered the sides of buildings downtown and in Pittsburgh's Oakland neighborhood, home to many universities and cultural institutions, where the Cathedral of Learning is lighted top to bottom in one of the most impressive displays of its kind in the world. The festival is putting Pittsburgh on the global map right after Lyon, France, which pioneered a similar lighting of festival many years ago. It's turned Lyon into one of Europe's top tourist attractions. Marguerite Jarrett Marks is the director of the Pittsburgh 250 Festival of Light, and Morgan O'Brien played a big part in bringing the festival to America. He's president and CEO of Duquesne Light, and welcome. Good to see both of you. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, we're sort of in the home stretch right now, Marguerite. We are. The lights are up, and we'll be up till November 21st. So if people haven't seen them, they've got to get out and do it because it is something special. Yeah, and Maureen, Duquesne Light was really, uh, played a big role in it last year when you did the first Festival right. of Light. How did this uh, capture your attention to begin with? Well, you know, it actually, as you, your lead-in talked about the Lyon, right, the village in France that draws 4 million people. And, and one of our guys who's working on trying to bring new ideas to you know, showing off Pittsburgh and all of the magnificent parts of Pittsburgh, went on the little Googled, you know, lighting and came up with this and, and contacted uh, an artist who was involved with it. And literally a week later, the artist came into <laughs> Pittsburgh, walked the streets of Pittsburgh and fell in love with Pittsburgh um, with all the reasons that we all fall in love with it. But it saw the magnificent buildings and just her imagination ran wild with the possibilities. And we just got more excited probably than we should have but it was just <laughs> it, it grew and it, everybody we talked to just really got more and more excited about it in the first year we were a little you know apprehensive about what the reaction was but we heard nothing but positive and the restaurants and the you know we talked about economic development I mean it was bringing people into downtown Pittsburgh and it made people feel good about being part of a beautiful city and showing it off in a really positive way so for us it was just it's uh, something that sort of just took off and excited about really not only the event but also the future of the event. Yeah, it's wonderful. The goal is to, you know, have people come see the lights but also do more. And so we do on-site surveying and the news has been great this year once again that uh, the vast majority, over 90 percent of the people surveyed said that they do the lights along with something else. They go out to dinner, they go to a show, they v visit other parts of the neighborhood. So that is really tangible economic development that also has a huge positive social impact as well. Sure, and then there's the PR piece of this. Oh. I mean, the, the Cathedral of Learning Lighting, which if people haven't gone out to Oakland to take a look at it, you really owe it to yourself and to your kids to show them what it looks like. But that's been, you've been getting buzz outside of our region as well. Yeah, I mean, the reach is truly international. And with the internet, and because this is such a visual program, People have blogs, they have Flickr sites, they, uh, people are covering it around the world. And it really puts Pittsburgh on the map where it deserves because the architecture and culture in this region is, is extraordinary. Uh, Morgan, you said four million people go to Lyon, France every year for it's, this, this it's thing? A, it's a four-day event. And, you in know, just four days? Yes. Exactly. Holy mackerel. Yeah, this has been a world of the better part of two months here. That's right. incredible. And, and you know, with the first time we read about this event and we thought about, you know, wonder if it had possibilities in Pittsburgh and literally every building is lit up in in this town and this year you know we added the the, the churches and temples and synagogues who are incredible structures and just really draw attention to it they've all lit up between the Pittsburgh Oakland around the city area and so in addition to just the incredible art we're showing off these incredible buildings so it's it's taking a little bit form of similar to the what they do over in France and you know I don't know if we'll get four million people to come into <laughs> Pittsburgh, but it's it is drawing people and it's exciting. Well, and, and they've been doing it how long in Lyon? But, uh, oh yeah, it's I would take hundreds it, of years. It, it, yeah. it takes yeah, a right, while. Right. It, it takes a while, takes a while to build up yeah. that crowd. But that kind of potential, potentially for Pittsburgh, no, there's no other city in the country where this is happening right Not now. Not to the degree to the we're doing it, and I think um, with the support of our our general uh, generous sponsors we've been able to do something like the Cathedral of Learning and that really put us on an international map and showed the the potential and we this is something that this region can really own and we hope that this becomes an annual event what we call a Mecca event that people really it becomes a destination that they put it on their map every year just like they would 
the New Orleans Jazz Festival. You know what? I've got to be in Pittsburgh for the Festival of Lights. Really cool. And a, a great symbol of a bright future for the region in general. I mean, absolutely. It sort of it takes all the things that we tell the story, and it just brings this incredible picture of downtown Pittsburgh and Oakland and just these incredible buildings. And, it, you know, people come in, and they feel really good about being part of this community because it's showing us off in a really positive way. I mean, it's all the messages you're, we're trying to bring across in economic development. Well, very exciting. Congratulations to both of you. The Festival of Light on view until November 21st. Absolutely. All right, Marguerite Marks Thanks. and Morgan O'Brien. Thanks so much. Thank you, Bill. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.